Hello. What's up? What's up? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Cheese, cheese. Mmm. I actually just go to the cow pens downstairs and put my mouth under the seared stone under the seared stone cows and just go. <coughs> yeah. You know what they say, Isaac? The things that are the best for you taste the least good. So. I mean, the reason is, Isaac, is because when we were a non-civilized, you know, social species, when we had to hunt for our food, because we could only take what we can get and eat once every few days... It was naturally programmed into us that the fattiest, saltiest things with the most energy in them, the most energy dense things, such as like meat and, you know, tasted the best. So that we, we w went for those things instead of, you know, carrots. Like, do you reckon rabbits love carrots? Like, just absolutely, like, they go nuts for them. It's like they're chocolate or something. They just freaking, it's like I don't know. delicious. Is it rabbits who like carrots or is it something else? What's the animal that stereotypically loves carrots? It's rabbits, no? Or maybe. Like Bugs Bunny eating a carrot? Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah I it's, reckon it's a rabbit. They just, yeah. So they're programmed to just chunk carrots, right? <laughs> But do you reckon so? But carrots are good for them, right? Like in mm. and so I mean, mm, I don't uh, know because us, rabbits obviously... are small. Isaac, carrots right. to them are like you know a massive ass steak to us, right? Right. I mean, that would be a huge steak, right? Like a, a carrot. You can get carrots that are as long as some rabbits, exactly. Right. I mean, I guess you could probably get a certain cut of steak that's as long as a human, right? If you've got like a long sure, cow. Sure, sure. That could maybe work. <laughs> maybe I'm work. sure it can. No. So the reason that you know juicy fleshy meat doesn't taste nice to rabbits is because that is just far too much they just explode right right like this has happened before rabbits have just you know i don't think it happened with rabbits but it happens it happens with with cows isaac if you let cows loose and you don't you know drain <laughs> them something in them explodes i'm pretty sure this is true right could be wrong tell us in the comments probably could wrong. be wrong yeah tell i mean but who knows anyway. who knows now, that's interesting man i mean i don't know what i want to know nick mostly is just why has nobody like made like Brussels sprouts taste better? Like, and, and 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 not taste better in a way that makes them unhealthy. Of course, you can cover them in cheese and bacon and butter and whatever mm. and salt and pepper, and oh. they taste a bit better. But like, why has somebody not made them taste, you know, heavenly, and also still keep their nutritional value? Well, what do you mean? make them taste better isaac like how do you make something what you, you i want i want to be able to bite into a sprout and have it taste like a malteser well then just get maltesers you dingus but maltesers are bad for you i can't eat maltesers well, all the time that's it that's why humans are programmed and also, nick, my point. also nick every time i go to a, a, a family meal and they've all got their turkey and their all their chicken and their mash and their brussels sprouts if i sit there and i pour my maltesers onto my plate everyone looks at me like i'm a weirdo nick and so unfortunately well, you know what, i can't isaac, have maltesers sometimes you gotta deal dinner. with it all right, because you are. If you pull your Maltesers on your freaking plate, oh man! Oh wow! Oh, you man. don't like Maltesers, Nick? You're you're not a fan. I like Maltesers. Yeah, I could dabble. I could dabble with a Malteser in my lifetime, Isaac. Oh man! But I just I just wish that 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 food that was good for you also tasted good. Like, or even even if it's not making the food taste different, if we could maybe just like if there was potentially like a pill that changed your taste buds mm. to make it seem like. You know, sprouts were really good.
you know whatever it is that that rabbits have that make them like think the character yeah. crack give that to us but also for like you know other hearty vegetables well right? i, think, I wanna... Isaac, yeah basically um what we'd need to do is just evolve so basically people who eat too much steaks and explode don't survive and people who eat kale survive and then eventually people who eat kale who have survived they might have kids who like kale and then because they like kale and all the other people who don't like kale explode you know eventually humans grow to just love but leaves. i don't i don't I, I want this i want this like this year i don't want it in like you know a couple of thousand years when the human when humankind has evolved right i want it today okay right so like i want i want my brain to release the same like when you eat sugar right your brain freaking loves it right your brain's like heck yeah man this is great you're a you're a you're a lifesaver i love you right the, the, your brain loves it right yeah i want my brain to do the same thing when i eat like you know peas well that's the thing we're not evolved isaac i've been mean, unless you want to go into the darwin machine and get all darwined up I've got nothing to offer you, bro. I mean, I don't know. Is there? Is I mean, we haven't said a single word about the game we're playing oh, in yeah, the first ten true. minutes Sorry. of this episode. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Is there not a way to um to 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 like force release endorphins? Can we not like force that? I force mean, that out there yet? are some ways to do that, Isaac. But you know, yeah, yeah, like uh, playing golf. Playing? Did you say playing golf? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that what I need to do? I just need to play golf yeah. whilst I eat Brussels sprouts and I'll be yeah, good to go. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> Why have you thought this before? Oh, man. I'm a, I'm a fool, Nick. I'm a complete and utter fool. How did I not think of this? Yeah, you you stupid boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you wow. silly boy. Jeez. So savage. Okay, Nick. Hey, what's up? Come look at this, man. What's up, man? I don't know how you're going to feel about it. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, crap. Christ. Conveyor belts, right? Yeah. So what That's happens what here, are. if you wait a second, if you wait a second, you'll see in a minute here that one of these uh, garden cloches on either end will produce a bit of wheat. And when it does, look at that, it pops it out, takes it along, and bloop, drops it into the oh, uh, animal cute. feeder. I know, right? It looks look awful, because it's just in the <laughs> corridor, but it's cute, nonetheless. All right? So you, you continue you with that, oh, gosh. that garbage. I've got... I've got to turn these bloody cows yeah, down. Yeah, it's really good. Friendly creatures, <laughs> turn them down. The moo, moo. Whoosh, Gosh dang whoosh, it. Whoosh. What even is that? The whoosh. Are they farting? They like, to play with, they like to play with whips, okay? And they... Whoosh, whoosh. That's all they're God, doing, they, all right? Don't worry about it. They're horrible up in there. Oh, man. They are... They're very, they're very kinky cows, Nick. Kinky Don't worry cows. about it, though. So. Kinky cows limited. Kinky cows international. What is up? Nick, mm. before we get too uh, into the topic of, of making uh, carrots and and, you know rabbits whatever mm. we should talk about what we did between episodes nick because yeah. last episode we worked on setting up or tripling right and between episodes we have moved our or tripling setup and also set up a little bit of a uh, a machine area over here a machine space for machines i don't know what to call this nick do you have a, do you have a name for this area um the machine area the new one <laughs> That's the. I mean, I'm not there, so I'm assuming that's. Even though you just explained it, that's what you're on about. Um, I'm gonna, one second. I need to sign the machine area. Um, the new one. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called. That's why it's gonna be called. Gosh dang it! But yeah, we set up a new machine area. We moved um, pretty much all of the machines over there. The mechanism machines uh, that are responsible for R-tripling, as well as our thermal expansion machines. Those have been moved, and at some point we'll also move our industrial foregoing machines as well. Um, but uh, Fnatic, what are you working on? Um, so basically, because of the machine area, the new one, um, I am going to set up a system that actually connects that to our ME system. Um, because, Isaac, uh, that's how we want to process everything. We want to export them out of the system into the processor and then import them from the processor back to the system, Isaac. So that's what I'm working on. Okay, cool. Um, I pop a sign, Nick, the machine area, um, the new one. So that is now official and ready to go. Uh, I, Nick, I'm going to work on a little bit, a wee bit, uh, of power generation because right now we're actually not producing too much power right we've got our dynamos downstairs which produce power and right now not all of our dynamos are even online um, i think that nine of the 12 actually have the ability to receive fuel um, but of those nine most of them are probably not receiving fuel just because that fuel is not being made oh no quite a few of them are um this one i think i upgraded to a diamond 
version. I did. So this one's an upgraded cobblestone generator. That's why this one is uh, actually producing tables fast enough. The rest of them are just standard versions. And so actually the first thing I might do here is go and quickly replace some of these other cobblestone generators just to get the rest of these dynamos online. But on top of that, Nick, I also want to work with a little bit of XNet and a little bit of X Utilities 2 in the form of the heated redstone generator to try and get us a little bit of, uh, of power up and running. Nick. That is my plan. Did you just say XNet? I said XNet, yes. X-N-E-T. XNet. What's that, Isaac? It's a mod that is made by the same developer of RF Tools, Nick, and it is pretty cool. I will show you it when I get into it in okay. a second. It's a really neat mod that I think uh, you might like, honestly. I think you might enjoy it, Nick. All right, here we go. So I'm going to make two more tier three cobblestone generators. I did just use 16 diamonds, Nick, but thankfully, uh, we're actually up at 129 diamonds now, Nick, so we're all good. Oh, wow, you sounds like the stock market to me, Isaac, you know? Yeah, you 16, we should have one, you know, Nick. 20, I mean, you know? there are screens, right? There are, like, there are screens and monitors. Do we have monitors in this pack? We can get, like, screens and monitors that do stuff, like an RF monitor. I really want, like, just a big screen, right, in one of our rooms that shows a graph, like a stock market-looking graph yeah. that just has our, like, diamond amount on it. it just shows our, our diamond growth over time. So, like, it shows, like, a little dip when you take it out, and then when we upgrade our speed, it just skyrockets, Nick. I feel like that could be completely useless, but also really I'd nice to it, have. Man. I yeah. Would you back it on, back it. on Kickstarter if, uh, yeah, yeah. if it was there? Freshly prepared on Kickstarter. Have you ever backed anything on Kickstarter, Nick? Um, I think I backed this protein shaker once, and it was like a new version. So I have like an automatic protein shaker for when I go to the gym. <laughs> right. And it like mixes them up. It's like a little blender almost. So you got like, you got protein powder, water, you put them in this no, thing and no, it automatically... No, no, no. Water is, is, is for the weak, Isaac, with protein. It's milk. Protein powder it's and milk? milk. Okay, milk. sure. But water is for the the sensible no like water is, isn't water not a better way of doing a healthier way of doing that i mean it's probably healthier but milk's got protein protein powder's got protein so they're just proteining the hell right up. but if you're if you're using pro you could just put like an extra five grams of protein powder yeah, in but instead i of adding, use skimmed milk, milk when in my protein shake size <laughs> why the, <laughs> because it does it more protein it tastes bad <laughs> tastes awful <laughs> so and then i, I okay, push a button sure. and it goes and it makes it up and so the company that made it were like, oh, we've got a new one and it can charge your phone and it's got magnets and I packed it and I've still, <laughs> I think I finished. Do you I, use it? I backed it in early 2018 and they said they're going to give it to me. No, I backed it in mid 2017 and they said they're going right. to give it to me in September 2017, Isaac. Right. Here I am without any hints of anything. You don't have, oh... So oh, the, the, are they, does it look like they're still going to make it, Nick? Is this still is this a is this a developing? No, it doesn't exist anymore. Gone. Oh, so you just you, you think you've just lost that money? I think, like, that's just, I think it's gone. That's just gone. gone. Oh, yikes! I I hate that. Like I hate like because for the most part I quite like Kickstarter. Right, I like the idea. I do dislike that some people or some companies, I guess, like just ruin the experience for everybody. Right, by mm. doing stuff like that because you hear so many stories of things like that happening on Kickstarter that it just exactly it does. Right. Yeah, I feel like things that are not so ambitious, like a card game, very easy to manufacture, right? You need cup, uh, cards, a printer, and a designer, right? Of course, of course, yeah. But when you say when you say in Kickstarter, you're gonna make you know a perpetual motion machine, and it gets a billion dollars. So then that's, you know, that's when you kind of got to take it all with a grain of salt. Oh, yeah. Or just like the wild supply of salt. N no. It's not. Yeah, but you don't measure rice in grains. Oh. Oh, wow. Damn, this guy. No wonder you want to eat Brussels sprouts to make them look good and pour Maltesers on your plate. It all makes sense now. You're just an idiot. <laughs> uh, 
a what? Sorry, a rice counter, like in grains. Uh, yeah, Isaac, I would. Oh. Yeah, like a bean counter, but for... But for grains. Why is it called a bean counter, and does it actually count beans? Oh, hello. You seem to have fallen through a hole. I mean, have you, have, have you picked up my seeds, Isaac, by any chance? My fluix seeds. Thanks, man. Yeah, it would. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm working on other things anyway while I wait. So I've now made my import and export bus. And uh, it's time to make some Fluix cables. Oh. Yeah. I mean, listen, they can do it with coins, Isaac. You know, coin counters. They can do it with rice grains. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah? Oh, wow. Okay. Mm hmm. 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 They look nice. I like them. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Right. God, yeah. Yeah. The tank. Mm hmm Right. No. I can, and it highlights. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, I see. No. I see. So now if I put redstone in here, look at that. Oh. Mm. It's Wow.
That's your plan. That's your plan Ito. Your plan doodly. Xnet. It sounds, yeah, it sounds quite powerful. Oh, right. So that's not ideal. All right. All right. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I mean, I want them too. I mean, but I mean, the RF things are quite good, no? Or is it? Is that? Right. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, it's going well. I'm almost done making a new crafting terminal for upstairs. And then it will just be a case of um, piping the stuff up with the my with some uh emmy glass cables yeah yeah oh yes please yes please actually that would be ideal i'll put some fluixy bits in the system No, we don't. And that would be very useful for glass fiber cables, Isaac. Um, yeah. Right. Hmm. Ooh. And it'll just plop it out. Yeah, 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 and then it will be you know smaller, more efficient. Jeff, compact jaffing up. Yeah, we'll do that then, man. We'll do that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm referring to. But then Isaac's rock is also called Jeff. We do. We need like a shrine. Like a um, J J and Dem shrine, and we just worship them and like pump them full of stones or whatever they like. What do they like, Isaac? Rock kibble, like doggy kibble. How do they get like ultra buff if we do? Please say yes.
Right. Hmm. Yeah? Hmm. So we, we have to go on a mission to do that, then. Like, to get them involved. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay, I have this metallurgy confuser in which I'm going to attach an export bus, an import bus, an export bus. Where does it go? Oh no, not on the metallurgy confuser. That's the that's not the one. It's the uh enrichment, uh, the purification chamber. That's the one. Yeah, it's not going to be great, is it? Um, ah. Yeah, that ain't... That ain't great. Um... Hmm. Would you... You need two nether stars, Isaac. I have been looking at this. And that's just for one. So it isn't like, you know, Ultimate Alchemy where we had them just up coming out of every orifice that is in our body. Hmm. Oh. oh, yeah, the torch launch is lit. Oh, what, what, what does that entail, Isaac? What do you get with it? Right, so what does that mean? Oh. Right. Hmm. So you have to, you now have to make less than you would have. There you go, man. There you go. Oh, man. I do have the torch launcher, which is... Right. What are you placing with the glowstone? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see.
Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that makes sense. All right, so I can then now put the import bus under the energized smelter. Is that how it works? The inputs and outputs. Okay. So that is the import bus. And then we can have this glass fiber cable come out and down. And then connect up to here. And then connect up to here. And then now this is all plugged in. So if I just go downstairs and finish up plugging it in downstairs, we will be uh, good to go. I think the whole system is now. Um, let me come up and put the crafting table uh, terminal down. Oh, what's up? Uh, yeah, well, actually, if I put this uh, crafting terminal down, yeah, then we can get it from here. Where do you want it? Where are we putting it? Okay. Uh, I'll just put it like... Yeah, <laughs> just down there. So shall we put it? Should we put it just to the side, like there for now or something? Oh God. Oh, I see. Okay, we can always move it. Here we go. All right, chunk. It's hooked up. We're in. So I've got iron ore chunks. So now I can put it in the export bus whitelist. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll just put it in. It's in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Looks gorgeous. Also does not work. So, I mean, yeah, like, ugh, that sucks. I do wish we could have this. I think this looks quite nice. I think it could be cool uh, to have like two two things here. But yeah, at last we're gonna have to find another place to put those because that just doesn't work. Um, um, that's fine. What's up, Nick? What's up? This... Uh, the bottom of this needs to be set to input. So okay. let me change that. Yes, there we go. There it's we working. go. Nice. We didn't make any speed upgrades or energy upgrades or any upgrades for these. So right now they're not uh, particularly fast or particularly energy efficient, Nick. But as I said before, between episodes, we can go ahead and uh, and make more of those, make this a bit more efficient, Nick. But finally, we are producing iron. We're actually processing our iron. Mm. Um, but one thing you probably want to do, Nick, is make a capacity card for the storage bus. So that we can have multiple things. Going. Yeah. yeah. How hard yeah, is yeah. a uh, capacity card to make? It is one set of quartz crystal and one basic card, Nick, which requires one calculation processor. Do you have um, to have a pure set of quartz crystal? I think I actually did make that calculation processor, so yeah. Ooh. You want to go ahead and make a uh, whip up a capacity card then real quick? Yep. Yeah. I also think you might need more than one, because I think one capacity card gives it you only unlocks four extra slots, slots, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think it unlocks all of them, yeah. Uh, but I'll whack one in. Yeah, and that's unlocked four of the slots. And then, you know what, I'll make another one. I can make another capacity card, actually. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh. oh man. I'm getting... My sound has returned, so I'm just gonna... Whoop, whoop. There it is. Get yeah, that. same. Chunk. So we'll do... How many slots do we have, Nick? We've got all the slots. Nine in total. Nine. Um, so we'll do... Copper. Gold. Lead, nickel, um, osmium, sure, silver, tin, aluminium, and iron. Yeah, sure. And then I'm assuming you don't need to set any whitelist for the import bus. That's just set. No, that's you just pull whatever is in the uh, energized smelter's output Beautiful. slot directly out. Yeah. So not particularly quick right now, and obviously it's going to have to cycle yeah, through every I single. Think, 
I also think I've connected the R. Oh yeah, I've, I've disconnected the uh, power because I need to get in. There we go. I'm no. so jealous, Nick, of your ability to walk on air. Like I cannot. Oh, it's so I nice. Cannot, I cannot I'm get running, over I've this. I've only back. got h- half <laughs> of my last air charm left, oh, but it's no. really nice. <laughs> I don't think they're that hard to make. Actually, the air charms. Um, it, it's two nether wart one. So two nether wart nine burn three iron. Right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, all right. Wow. Brilliant. Yeah, it does. I feel like the fact that you've put ceilings in the way, Isaac, doesn't help. Beautiful. Yeah, that's faster. Mm. It's going to be beautiful. Oh. Mmm. Uh, the stone excavators. Stone. No stone. No stone international. Incorporated. Yeah. Yeah. Next time. Goodbye. <laughs>